Colts fans, Adam Harry back again with another quick look at the Horace Heresy with Trail at Colf uh, Spruce. Today we're looking at the Contemptor here on the left, and then the uh, Captain Atheon and uh, Kirtha Said here on the on the right. Uh, these they also double for a uh, a Praetor or a, a Chaplain. And again, we'll get into all that. But again, I just want to take a look. Uh, we're doing these together in one set because, as far as we've been told, the uh, the current thinking is that the Contemptor uh, is right now, I don't know if say generic, or it's only going to be released as far as we've been told with the Horus Heresy box, same to, same deal with these two models. Uh, eventually you'll probably get another kit or something like that, but um, as far as we know right now, that's what the current rumor is. Uh, the other sprues, the Cataphracty Tac Marines, more than likely probably going to come out as their own separate thing later on, possibly. So anyway. Enough with the uh, speculation rumors. Let's go ahead and deep dive into the sprues. We'll start with the cat uh, with the uh, we'll say cataphract. We'll start with the contemptor. Here we have the contemptor dreadnought. As you can see here, really cool looking. It's got different hands. Uh, you either you can either go with the full on um, arm arm bits for the uh, power fist or you know dreadnought close combat weapon. So you've got one two sets. Uh, sorry, one two sides there. Uh, the hand joint is actually rotatable, so if you had another set, you could do a quick conversion and probably have two, two close combat arms. Uh, on the flip side, we've got uh, uh, a multi-melta bit here. We've got the, uh, looks like a salt cannon here, so that's what those bits are. There's the inside of the arm too. So, really cool stuff. It looks like the configuration for this dreadnought, one way or the other, uh, is gonna be a multi-melta, and multi multi close combat weapon or assault cannon close combat weapon, uh, uh, some kind of combination of the two. I'll flip that over real quick. And you see the insides, they are uh, very, very hollow. <laughs> the legs and everything like that. Uh, that's why I think this is probably gonna end up being a, a kind of a one-shot kit specific to this box, kind of like the, um, um, the other dreadnoughts in the uh, starter kits for 40K, stuff like that. You, they, they may eventually come out with a Contemptor Dreadnought kit that gives you all the different options and stuff like that. But think of this kind of like the starter set Dreadnought where, um, you know, Battle from a Crag Dreadnought where he's just kind of a static pose, stuff like that. But you can actually position the arms so you do have a little bit more flexibility there uh, and things like that. So, but that's what the inside of that looks like. And then of course the awesome chest piece that kind of snaps in there and uh, goes over top of this bit here. Very cool, very highly detailed at least. Even though the, the pose may be a little static with the with the fixed legs and stuff like that, but that's okay because you can always you know get the old plastic knife out and start hacking stuff up and repositioning if you feel like it. <laughs> so you have some options there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other sprue. Here we have the other sprue out of the uh, the, the pair we're looking at today. We have. Uh, Captain Atheon in the Cataphracty Terminator armor here, as you can see different bits there. And then on the flip side of that, we have Kurtha Said, which is in the regular power armor. He, of course, is a chaplain. Well, he plays either as a chaplain or Kurtha Said, uh, or you can use him as just a chaplain in the game. Flip side, the Praetor, the, the Cataphracty can function as a, a Praetor. So, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, these are, again, really cool, uh, very highly detailed. Even if they are a single pose only, they still look really cool. Uh, you can see here the, the, the Cataphracty, we'll look at him first, Captain Atheon. Here's his big bolter, uh, really cool. Uh, it's still a cool pose, I think, even though it's a little, little static, meaning you can't really change it at all. But uh, if you only need one captain, then there you go. So pretty cool. Uh, I like the way it's laid out here. Love the detail in the armor, again, with the little like visor plate looking slots and stuff like that. It's really nice. And then um, we have Kurtha Said right here, who looks to be wielding a plasma pistol. And and again, this bit here, you can see where it kind of just slides right in there. So uh, good stuff here. Over on this side, we have the, looks like the top of the cataphracty chest piece right there. And Kurtha Said's Crozius, of course it's, don't know how that all works <laughs> with anyway uh but yeah there's his uh we'll say his power rod for his staff his uh his uh his for his office we have a chain fist again for the cataphracty 
And then the, the back plates here, you can see there's the backpack for the uh, power armor and then um, for the cataphractic terminator. Actually, that could be the back plate. No, okay, no, these are the same bit. Okay, so not the same bit, but this backpack, backpack glues onto this. This is the cataphracty back. We'll take a look at that one. That makes way more sense now. So this is why you always read the instructions before you build these things. Okay, speaking of instructions and building these things, what do you say we put these bad boys together and then do a quick 360 of both the uh, two heroes and the giant Contemptor Dreadnought? Hey Bulls fans, uh, I'm back. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. We got to see the Contemptor Dreadnought. We got to see the officers both in Power Armor and uh, Cataphractic Terminator Armor. Really cool models there. Uh, we're going to have way more on the Horse Heresy Battle for Kulth. And thanks for watching.